Hello and welcome to a short video with a tip how you can make your supports better removable. Um, I got my Snapmaker Artisan in March and printed a lot with the dual filament, uh, dual printing head since March and everything worked fine with Luban. I did mainly parts with um, little support but it was everything uh, okay and fine. I used the Snap Maker Pill a leg for the main print head and for the support the second print head with a white filament so it's very clear where are support pieces that have to be removed. It's a really great thing. And yeah, so I was printing with Luvan, everything fine, and then because Cura was my to go slicer with my 850, I switched Luvan with the. Uh, from Luban to Cura with uh, the Snapmaker J1 Artisan plugin for Cura and version 0.9 and started printing. And the prints also looked very fine, like these parts and other parts I, I did. It's everything really, really fine. But then I printed with Cura the first part with supports and as you can see here I couldn't uh, remove the supports. I used tweezers, I used uh, knives and as you can see the one I used didn't survive. The tip broke because it's really melted together and when troubleshooting I uh, found a setting which I want to show you and it's called Cura Support Z Distance and Support Top Distance. It's, um, this value is the value as above and as you see I entered the manual value which is exactly the, the thickness of my nozzle. I use a 0.4 nozzle and when I set to default value you see it's zero. There is no distance between the support and the print. And that's what glued these parts together. It's really melted together. Perhaps I can remove it with a dreamer, but uh, other way I, I don't see it. And as I want, should uh, keep this, this here, I think I will destroy it with the dreamer. So yeah, I will have to print it again. And when troubleshooting, I found this and I set this value to 0 0.4. So it's exactly the height of, of the layer, of one layer. And then I printed this part. And as you see, the support came off perfect. I could do it with my hand and there's nearly no rest on it. If you're asking what I'm printing with all these parts, uh, yeah, I print um, uh, handles for a uh, for a crossbow so nothing all too fancy but uh, should be exact printed so everything fits together yeah and with this setting the supports were really really great to remove and i show it now at my snapmaker artisan how i did it so now at the Snapmaker we see the finished print with the support in it. I'm going to take it off. Um, it's already cool now the plate. So it comes off really really good. Ta-da! And now we're gonna remove these supports. Look, just comes out. And that's the difference with this setting. I hope I could help you with two sticky supports. Try this setting, just change it and see it solves the problem for you, it solves my problem and I don't uh, understand why the default 
value is zero and it's so uh, melted together. Perhaps it's because I use a higher uh, printing temperature as uh, recommended by the maker of these so that everything uh, fits together very tight because uh, it should stand when you repeat uh, a lot of pressure. So perhaps that's what melted the parts together, but now there is no issue anymore and yeah. And if the when the crossbow is uh, finished, I'll do another video. See you.